Hunter, the White Wolf, as Marvel Comics reveals a character whose story defies expectations in the MCU. From origins shrouded in tragedy to a legacy echoing through Wakanda, White Wolf's journey is about to captivate in ways you never saw coming. Hang in there until the end, because we're going to chat about how this character is already part of the MCU, and how they might play a role in the future Black Panther 3. And for those who might not know, Hunter the White Wolf is a made-up character you can find in Marvel Comics. Christopher Priest and Mark Texera brought this character to life, and they first showed up in Black Panther Vol. 3 No. 4 in February 1999. In the comic storyline, after losing his parents in a Wakanda plane crash, there was one survivor, a white baby. Villagers found him and brought him to King T'Chaka, who decided to adopt him and named him Hunter. Despite being a skilled hunter and combat expert, he, nicknamed White Wolf, faced suspicion and even contempt from the cautious Wakandans due to being a white foreigner. However, Hunter genuinely loved Wakanda, becoming one of its devoted patriots. Knowing he wouldn't inherit the throne with T'Challa as the rightful heir, Hunter felt cheated and developed a strong jealousy towards T'Challa. Driven by this, he worked hard to be the best Wakandan, hoping to outshine his adopted brother. His dedication led the previous Black Panther to appoint Hunter as the leader of the Hatut Zarazi, Wakanda's secret police, earning him the title of the White Wolf. When the reigning Black Panther decided to disband the Hatut Zarazi because of their harsh methods, White Wolf and his devoted team chose to leave Wakanda and became mercenaries. Despite harboring resentment for this turn of events, White Wolf's love for his adopted homeland prevailed. He managed to set aside his grudge against the Black Panther to assist the country when necessary, acting as an ally to Caspar Cole, who took on the role of a temporary Black Panther. Hunter grew unhappy when T'Challa gave up the Wakandan throne to safeguard Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan. T'Challa's intention was to test himself after facing recent setbacks, and his friend Matt Murdock needed time to recover. In response, Hunter took drastic measures, killing individuals to seize the Black Panther mantle from T'Challa. However, when Black Panther confronted and defeated White Wolf, he made it clear that Wakanda had no tolerance for murderers. In the Empire storyline, White Wolf and the Hatut Zarazi played a crucial role among the Wakandans in the battle against the Kotati. Their presence was noted to the south of Khartoum, actively engaging in combat against the Kotati archers who launched an attack in that area. As for his powers and abilities, White Wolf boasts proficiency in hand-to-hand -hand combat, showcasing his expertise in close quarters engagements. Collaborating with the Hatut Zarazi, he is equipped with an array of cutting-edge gear. This includes the Vibranium Microweave Mesh, a remarkable material capable of halting bullets in mid-flight and resisting slashes. Additionally, he utilizes advanced cloaking technology, seamlessly integrating it into a stylish business suit. His boots are designed with energy-dampening capabilities, providing a strategic advantage in diverse situations. Alongside these enhancements, White Wolf is armed with an assortment of handguns and other weapons, ensuring a versatile and formidable arsenal at his disposal. Beyond the pages of comics, the character White Wolf makes an appearance in Avengers Assemble, where he is voiced by Scott Porter. In this rendition, he takes on the role of the adopted brother to T'Challa and Shuri, having been a former student of N'Jadaka. This version of White Wolf is introduced in the episode titled The Panther and the Wolf, where N'Jadaka approaches him with an offer to defect from Wakanda. However, White Wolf opts to take a stand against the Shadow Council, obtaining a list of their operatives and teaming up with his foster siblings to confront M'Baku. In the episode titled The Good Son, White Wolf attempts to pilfer a potent Wakandan artifact and conceal it, driven by concerns about T'Challa collaborating with Captain America and Helmut Zemo. Despite his efforts, he is thwarted and subsequently imprisoned. In the gripping two-part episode, King Breaker, White Wolf is released to aid T'Challa in preventing the Shadow Council from inciting a war with Atlantis, leveraging Iron Man's technology. Subsequently, in the episode Atlantis Attacks, White Wolf plays a crucial role by rescuing T'Challa from the brink of execution orchestrated by Basque. Using Ulysses' claw as a hostage, White Wolf intervenes to protect his foster brother. However, the situation escalates when Madame Mask's technology 
targets Atlantis in retaliation for Basque's actions. Lady Ilana and Tiger Shark, seeking retribution, go after T'Challa and White Wolf. Fortunately, Shuri manages to persuade them by revealing Basque's self-sacrifice, leading to a reconciliation between T'Challa and Lady Ilana. Tragically, Tiger Shark takes matters into his own hands and kills White Wolf. This event prompts a fierce response from T'Challa, who nearly retaliates in kind before ultimately choosing to honor White Wolf's memory by relenting in his vengeance. MCU enthusiasts were first introduced to the name White Wolf in the post credit scene of the initial Black Panther film. In this scene, children in a Wakandan village refer to Bucky Barnes, played by Sebastian Stan, as White Wolf. While avid comic book readers recognized the term, many others were left curious about its significance for the character known as the Winter Soldier and the broader MCU. Fast forward five years and 24 projects later, and fans are still in the dark about how Bucky acquired this moniker. However, it is clear that the name has its roots in the comics, where the White Wolf is a well-established character. As the third installment of the Black Panther franchise looms, speculation abounds regarding how the White Wolf might be integrated into the MCU, potentially undergoing significant transformations in the process. To understand MCU's White Wolf, you understand Bucky's story so far, Bucky's journey took a significant turn after Shuri successfully erased the brainwashing he endured as the Winter Soldier. Joining the Avengers in the battle against Thanos in Avengers Infinity War, Bucky's newfound trust was evident when King T'Challa presented him with a specially crafted vibranium arm made by Shuri. Following the reversal of the snap in Avengers Endgame, Bucky embarked on a personal mission to take responsibility for the crimes he unwittingly committed as the Winter Soldier. With a full pardon from the United States, he sought to atone for his past by making amends with those he had wronged. Bucky, a character who had consistently supported Steve Rogers, experienced a tragic life but has now evolved into the hero fans had hoped for. This moment seems opportune for him to fully embrace the White Wolf moniker, symbolizing a new chapter in his journey toward redemption and heroism. Now, shift our attention to the future. Sebastian Stan is set to reprise his role in the upcoming Thunderbolts movie, a surprising twist for the reformed character given the typically dubious nature of the Thunderbolts team. There's speculation that Bucky might be working undercover, possibly for Sam Wilson, to uncover the Thunderbolts' objectives. Looking ahead to the next Black Panther film, it seems logical for Bucky to have a role, especially considering the warning he received from Ayo of the Dora Milaje. Ayo cautioned him not to return to Wakanda after he assisted Baron Zemo in escaping from prison during the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Given that both Bucky and Zemo are set to feature in Thunderbolts, if Bucky helps Zemo again, he could find himself on Wakanda's list of adversaries. However, if he is secretly working for Sam Wilson's Captain America to gather information on the Thunderbolts, his ties to Wakanda could prove essential in the unfolding storyline. Bucky, being a highly skilled soldier and one of Marvel's deadliest assassins, brings a unique dynamic to the narrative. It's speculated that the creators have kept Bucky in the story for a reason, likely not to abruptly derail his character arc by turning him to the dark side immediately after his redemption. If Bucky fully embraces the White Wolf moniker in either Thunderbolts or Black Panther 3, fans might witness him donning the iconic white vibranium suit from Marvel Comics, fighting alongside rather than against the Black Panther. This potential evolution promises an exciting continuation of Bucky's journey in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, that's it for today. Let me know your take on it in the comments section. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.